what's up everybody on youtube and today is a whole new set of videos now i'm gonna kind of kick my gaming videos a little bit to the side with all the gaming news because most of the stuff like facebook and twitter and all that kind of beat me to it so by the time i upload the video you already know the news so what i am going to do is kind of throw a mix in there to where i ain't just giving away a bunch of codes and doing a bunch of unpackings i want you to know what teams I have used in each of my playthroughs, which is Pokemon Y, Pokemon Omega Ruby, and Pokemon Moon that I just got started on. So, now what I'm doing is, I'm actually going through and I have, I write notes down a lot with, uh, with the game, just kind of keeping up where I'm at and the stuff that I'm doing, because I have a horrible memory with it. If I go and I, like I've been playing Pokemon Moon. Now when I go from Pokemon Moon and I go to Pokemon my Y and try to do something I wanted to go ahead and get accomplished on there, I forget where I was at or I forget exactly what I was going to do to get to that point. So I kind of just take notes down. But I went ahead and wrote down last night I remembered my Hall of Fame team that I beat the Elite Four with and I did most of my gameplay with. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you all the names of the Pokemon that I used when I beat the Elite Four. And then I'm going to tell you which ones I ended up switching out throughout my gameplay. So, for our first one, number one, Charizard. Y'all knew this was coming. Charizard's been my favorite Pokemon ever since I was a kid. Loving it. Just a breathing fire lizard. He was supposed to be a dragon type, I believe. Now, because I got Pokemon Y, he ended up being you know, Mega Charizard Y. I really wanted the X really bad, but apparently at the time X wasn't available at my local game local gaming store. So, uh, the mo he was at level 76 when I finally beat the Elite Four. The moves that I had for him was Heat Wave, Flamethrower, Shadow Claw, and Wing Attack. Now that I know a lot of people like you know where's uh, Sunny Day, but because I believe since. He, his Mega Evolution gave automatically Sunny Day out in the open, just like Groudon does. So, now, my second one, which is my starter for Pokemon Y, it ended up being Greninja. Greninja ended up being in level 74 with the moves Hydro Pump, Extraordinary Sorcery, ah. I can never pronounce it a lot. You'll see it on screen. Surf and Water Shuriken. Now, Water Shuriken, yeah, Shuriken is one of his signature moves, I believe. You saw it a lot in the anime, and I just really love the move. It looks really cool. It attacks multiple times. may not have a direct hit or a high hit level, but with enough times, and if you get an opponent that has a rock type or fire type, you're sure to win. So the next one is Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum ended up being level 73 by the time I got done with the Elite Four. A really good hard hitter, but I needed somebody to use HMs a lot through the things, especially with Rock Smash and Strength. That's the two moves that he ended up getting stuck with, plus with Earthquake and Dragon Claw. Now, I wanted him to be my Dragon Fighter, simply because he wasn't a Dragon type, so most of the Dragon moves that did get used against him wouldn't be super effective. The next one is the Wyzethal. It's the legendary Pokemon for Pokemon Y. He had Phantom Force, Oblivion Wing, Obliviation Wing, and Foul Play with Psychic. He ended up being level 76. Now, I know a lot of you guys are saying, you know, well, they're all on level 70. You, you must have used Rare Candies or something like that. No. I grinded a lot. I'm talking about endless hours of grinding. I didn't want to have too much trouble with Elite Four, which I knew would be a struggle because if you end up getting fainted or you end up blacking out, you had to start all the way back over. And I just didn't want to do that. My next one is Pidgeot. Now Pidgeot ended up being level 72. Kind of the lowest of my whole team. Simply because he wasn't used too much. I did use him and ground a lot with a lot of grass type that I did find. But he just don't have a good hard hit. He didn't. I didn't. couldn't get the Mega Stone for him right away. So it was just kind of a iffy thing here and there. He did end up saving me a few times in the Elite Four, especially when it came to the first and second gym leader, uh, Elite Four uh, member. So other than that, his moves were Hurricane, Air Slash, Wing Attack, and Fly. I needed somebody to use for Fly to go around because... Now, the good thing is in Pokemon Omega Ruby, 
you can use the Eon flute and fly with Latios or Latias around in the sky. Well, you can't do that in Pokemon Y, so I ended up needing him to learn fly just to get around places. My next and final one is Lucario. Lucario was the first Mega I saw in Pokemon Y, and it just looked great. His attack was off the charts. I loved it. His, I forgot what I had his special ability as, but his attacks were Dragon Pulse, Aurora Sphere, Close Combat, and Extreme Speed. Now, Close Combat, I know that you take a little bit of damage every time you dealt damage to your opponent, but as long as you got the Mega Stone, you usually don't have to worry about knocking yourself out too much. Now, the legends I did catch were the Zegard. I've never seen a weirder Pokemon in my life. I mean, that thing just looked horrendous. And it was a pain. It was worse than Mewtwo. Which Mewtwo is one of the legendaries that I did catch, which I did run into Moltres as well. Since you get you get end up getting the opposite type bird, legendary bird. For each star that you do end up picking. And I thought that was pretty neat. They get to fly around. Kind of like, you know, the legendary dogs or Latios or Latios. They get to run around free. I did run into them right after I get done with Elite Four. I walked out. The first patch of grass I hit, I ran into them. I don't know if it's just coincidence or it happens to everybody. But after that, he did a screech and he took off running. Ever since then, I could not find him. I saw him on the map a couple times. Got pretty close. But every time I jumped to a new zone... He takes off. So, and also, you know, the legendary Pokemon for the main story for Pokemon Y. I did catch him, and I caught Mewtwo. Mewtwo, I wanted to do a little bit different. Now, I found out you couldn't get a shiny with soft resets. But what I was doing else with a soft reset is I had to catch Mewtwo with full health. I couldn't hit him. And I had to catch him without using a Master Ball or an Ultra Ball. So the only balls I could use was Premier, a regular Pokeball, a Great Ball, any Luxury Ball, anything like that. And uh, I did not even pick up a Dust Ball for cave use. I don't know why I didn't. I just did not use one. But I ended up did catching Mewtwo with a Pokeball. It was like my third throw in a row, and it caught it automatically. I couldn't believe it. Um, I can try to... Somehow link a picture of him in that Pokeball somehow on my phone to the channel. But other than that. So the Pokemon I did switch was Snorlax. Snorlax was in my team at the very, very beginning. I loved it, but the fact was he wasn't strong enough to keep up with the growing opponents that I was running into. I ended up replacing him with Tyrantrum. The minute I got Tyrantrum's unevolved form, it was game over. Tyrantrum is just a really cool looking Pokemon. His stats are off the chart. His defense is great. His speed is a lot slower than what I like to see. But other than that, Snorlax kind of got kicked out of that one. The next one is Talonflame. Talonflame, I love flying type. Especially since I got a Pidgeot. So I had a lot of hard choices to make between Talonflame and Pidgeot. But I ended up switching him out with Lucario. Once I caught Lucario, Lucario is automatically in my party. But for the simple fact that Talonflame didn't have a Mega, and I kind of planned on having Pidgeot getting a Mega Stone. So for that, Talonflame got kicked in the box. But if I'd have known later on in the game, after I've done grinded and grinded to get, to get my Pidgeot to level 72, and I couldn't get a Mega Stone, I probably would have kept Talonflame. Simply because I can use a Flying and Fire type at the same time. The next one was Onix. I got Onyx at the very beginning of the game. I can't remember exactly what town I got him in, but I got Onyx. Really good Pokemon, but the fact of I needed a flying type. This goes back to Pidgeot again. Pidgeot won over Talonflame and Onyx simply because that's my first ever flying type I've ever used ever since I was a kid. When I caught Pidgey, they were everywhere. So the simple fact was I didn't know Pidgey's final form until I got really a lot older and ended up trading a Pidgeotto with a friend of mine for, I can't believe what it was. I think it was another Torchic I hatched from a Ditto and a Blaziken. But I got that Pokemon, I got a Pidgeot, and I, and I beat the Hoenn League on regular Pokemon Ruby with just a Pidgeot, and I was ecstatic. He was level 100, granted, but that's just been the best Pokemon I've ever used other than Charizard. 
So, guys, this is my top six that I've used for all of the whole Pokemon Y series. And I couldn't be more happy. I really did get attached to this team. It kind of, you know, was a little bit of a struggle kind of putting the, the game down and, you know, walking away from it at certain points. But other than that, I believe the story mode was really great. It was really awesome seeing a whole new generation of Pokemon. It was really cool. And it, seeing some of them get thrown in there, like, you know, the first generation starters getting thrown in there, you get to pick which one out. I actually did post on uh, Pokemon Online uh, 3DS on Facebook and asked people, you know, what was their first starter or what what was the one they liked the most. A lot of people pushed towards Bulbasaur instead of Charmander. Because they said that's just the best grass type you can get in the game. But me, I'm not a grass type trainer. I don't like, I just don't like it. I don't think the moves are hit hard enough. The hardest or the best attack you can get is Solar Beam. And you're going to waste a turn just getting the power. So I'd rather just have uh, Fire Blast or Erupt and, you know, just dealing a lot more damage. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video. This has been a lot of editing. This has been a lot of thought process. And I mean, I literally, literally wrote down all of my team, everything that they were going to do, and everything that, you know, I've, I've put in a lot of time for. But the next one, since this is Pokemon Y, the next game that I did play was Omega Ruby. So that was going to be the next video. And you might be a little surprised at the team that I did pick. A lot of people wouldn't have picked them, but I kind of wanted to push this team to the edge. The only next thing I do on Omega Ruby is catch me a couple more legendaries. The only one I've caught so far was Groudon and I have Latios. And so, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below whether you like this video. If you do not like it, let me know as well so I can make, do something to make this video better. Um, I know I'm stuttering a lot. I cannot talk today to save my life. But I know this video has been extra long. But remember, if you do want a legendary code, I do have a whole bunch of it. I've got to get rid of them. I don't want to just throw them away because that's just a waste. I shouldn't have picked them up if I was going to throw them away. So let me know. I know a lot of you guys play Pokemon. And uh, let me know down in the comments below, what did you think about the last Pokemon card unboxing video that I posted the Dragon Majesty do you think it's a good idea to keep buying them and trying to get the gold card or do you think I'm just wasting my time and should just jump straight to Thunder Packs but thank you guys for watching again see you again soon